Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. The last match between Google Frog and Lore in that series, and also the last match for tonight. Once again, I'm Shadow Fury 33, and this is Nanalee Is at Dawn, showing Zero K. I I'll think of a good sign on for that. But for now, yeah, the show is Nanalee Is at Dawn, the game is Zero K. I am Shadow Fury 33, and we're watching Google Frog and Lore play on Cull, a map which is very water oriented, and Lore going for Amphib, Google Frog going for Amphib, no surprises there. I mentioned Hovercraft when I was introducing this in the last game and then said no it'll probably be Amphib because Amphib is the factory of choice. On mixed maps like this Amphib is totally the factory of choice. Now I should point out that players can start in anywhere they want in the north or south side. Both players have just so happened to choose the west side of the map. So they are going to be at close start positions. Google Frog and actually Google Frog going more for ducks. Lodry going a bit more for for the conches, they want to build up faster. I suppose they're thinking from the last game, because last game on Inculta, Lori ended up not expanding anywhere near as much as Google Frog, and that cost them. So I think this game, Lori might be thinking, oh, I want to get my expansion up quickly, and possibly on the land as well, but no, not yet. But definitely get it up quickly. Get it up in as many directions as possible. I mean, that's what worked for Google Frog, and this is a map that's kind of like Inculta, where you can basically expand radially from your open, well, sort of, from the corner, but you expand radially. Which means having more workers is strictly better. And I realize this map is not the best for people watching at home. So I... Uh, no? What? Ooh, there we go. I think. I hope this is dynamic. I think this is dynamic. Anyway. So yeah, that'll make it a bit easier to watch. But yes, so Google Frog... Last game did win basically by out expanding. This game, we'll see if they're on track to do so. Oh yeah, this is still. This is, but for some reason, depths aren't being respected properly. Whatever. Anyway, so with. Yeah, with ducks. I mean, duck versus duck. That's what we're dealing with here, basically. For most of the game, it's going to be duck versus duck. Maybe some scallops later on. Actually, scallops and boys will be coming in later on. Boys are just the go-to mid-game amphib option, with Grizzly being the go-to late-game option. Even on a mixed map, even because they have to surface, it because they have to surface, it probably will bias towards ducks a bit more, but boys are still important. And... Nice rating coming from Google Frog, or at least attempt at rating. There was no bank expansion, but still works out pretty well. Google Frog should be able to deal with most of this, actually, I think. Yeah, the title generators are a nice juicy target, but it doesn't look like Google Frog is going to risk it. At the same time, Google Frog was on land and Lori getting some free hits there. That's working out beautifully for Lori. And Lori actually is ahead economically. Google Frog having fallen a bit behind, partly due to losing that metal extractor, and most, I think, because Lori is focusing more on expansion this time around. You see, Lori has worker for the front. Well, not on the main or the back. Actually, come to think of it, no, they're about even. Like, Google Frog's a little bit behind, but actually not that much. Never mind, that that was primarily the harassment from Lori. I'm still surprised Lori has not expanded to the back. I guess they figured they can't defend it? If they get the defenses up, though, that's going to be a very juicy point to build up to. I mean, admittedly, it's also a juicy target, but that's what the defenses are for. But I think that's the thinking. I think Lodi is thinking, I can't really defend this. So instead, they're focusing on the water, where they're pretty sure they can defend. But Google Frog, with the five ducks, doing a lot of damage, not really losing any of them either. And being that they're in water, they're going to heal very quickly, because that's what Amphib units do. But Lodi aggressively pushing into Google Frog's base, which... Well, maybe. To get a nice, strong position, I don't think they're going to proxy anything factory-wise. They might try to proxy defenses or something, but that's not common in 1v1. Like a proxy stinger or something like that. I don't know. I kind of doubt it. Lori with their ducks, though. And actually, Lori might be getting a slight advantage of ducks. 
They are in need of a bit more power though. Just a bit. Their production is working okay, but they are starting to they are getting close to accessing. Google Frog now has fallen quite a bit behind though. Either eight metal income behind, which is a big deal. Especially at high level games like this. That's how many okay, ducks costing 80. Yeah, that's a duck every 10 seconds. Like every 10 seconds that goes by, Lori gets one duck up on Google Frog. That's not something you want to have happen. And here comes the hit. So this Google Frog's commander going is going down? Oh, it's totally going down. Google Frog's commander is basically dead. Yep. Down goes the commander along with the parts of the island that were above ground. So Lori putting themselves in a very strong opening position. Getting rid of that commander with Google Frog already being economically behind. This may seal it. I guess they've... Maybe they only played two games. Maybe they didn't play a third. Maybe Google Frog comes back. I mean, the boys are in play. I did say these are units that are used. And here we see that is indeed the case. Or at least I think we see that. Do we see it? Maybe so. I'm not entirely sure. At any rate, it is... No, it's probably the case. It looks like it's probably the case. But Lori... Lori basically has this game to lose. Like, that's the thing. It's Lori's game to lose right now. Google Frog will be going in for one last ditch attack. These boys coming to the south. Not much in the way to defend, so at least they have that. If they slow down enough ducks, that will give Google Frog the advantage, and there aren't really any counterforces. Now, if the attack happens underwater, then it will be a bit easier for Google Frog to work with this, because the boys won't be an issue. But that's the thing, Google Frog's... Sorry, Lori's, I should say. Lori's kind of stuck in the water. Google Frog isn't. Which is a major advantage for Google Frog right now. But I don't... I don't know... I think Google Frog might actually be able to take this back. Lori, with their ducks, like fully full duck forces, is actually going to have a much harder time dealing with this than I expected they would. That was a nice commander kill, but even then, those boys, just by type, are going to be a problem. However, the fight has gone underwater, but Lori does not have the numbers anymore. I'm a little surprised that they don't. What the heck's going on? Lori is producing enough. They have more... They have more build power. They don't have much energy, but they still have more build power being pushed into here. I guess a lot of it was... Oh, of course. What am I thinking? Lori lost all their ducks blowing up Google Frog's commander. <laughs> That's the problem. That's always the risky thing about getting a commander kill. Is that you end up losing your army if you're not super careful. And that's what happened. The commander kill basically lost Lori the game. Pretty much. That's all there is to it. That that was that was kind of the killing blow, which is unfortunate for Lodi. But that's how it goes. So that's gonna be it for me tonight. Thank you for watching and happy night. I won't be doing my normal thing for Remembrance Day tomorrow. I can't really find any game that works as a good history lesson game. And I'm not sure what I'd really say. So yeah, sorry about that. If you are looking forward to the Remembrance Day thing I've been doing the last couple years. But yeah, so this was basically down to killing the commander inefficiently. Because that's always... I, I mentioned that too sometimes, is that when you're in a position to kill the commander, you want to run all of your units but the killing unit away, and the killing unit should be as far away as possible even then. Like, be it at its max range when it fires the killing blow, and then get out of there. And maybe it'll survive, and the rest of the units should survive. That's not a thing you can always do, but it's kind of the ideal. Warsome. If you can pull that off, you'll end up basically killing a commander for free. But that rarely happens. Anyway, that, like I said, was that. So, thanks for watching, and have a good night, everyone.